The Queen killed Diana. That's what would have got Chips. me hooked. And that hamburger with uh, a bottle of water. Are you done? I've had the misfortune to stumble upon Harry's latest memoir. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't actually buy the book out of protest because I refused to give that ginger winger any money. So I stood in Tesco on numerous trips and now I've finally finished reading it. Here's a, here's a picture of me in Tesco reading these chapters. How about the process of getting the material for this book went a little bit like this. So Harry, is there any kind of details that you can give us that's so explosive that nobody's ever heard of? I, w I once bought a monkey as a pet. Yes, yes. Harry, no. We, we need more than a monkey, okay? That's only worth a million dollars. You need something more explosive, something more, you know, scandalous. Scandalous, okay, okay, okay. One time, I, d d I dyed my hair ginger. Jesus Christ, on a motorbike. Oh my God, babe, that's true, but you're already ginger, so it doesn't really matter. Already ginger, okay, okay. Um, one time, my daddy took me on a bike ride. Babe, we've already lied about that. We've already said that he didn't take you on a bike ride. Well, ugh. Babe, we need something that's worth millions of dollars. This is what we're paying you for. You had one job. One time, my granny came into my bedroom and said she needed to stroke the eel. I didn't know what she meant at the time, but it meant that she wanted to silk my- <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, share and all that stuff. It helps the channel get noticed and who doesn't like to get noticed? This is my review of one of the most awful books on the planet, but one of the most popular books on the planet. It's the best selling non-fiction book ever which is ironic because most of the stuff in his book is fiction my first takeaway from the book was that it's his he allegedly got attacked by william who chucked him down to the floor and broke his necklace his necklace probably said i'm a ginger winger i don't know if he's realized but no one really gives a crap number two he lost his virginity to an older woman Good. I'd be more concerned if you lost it to a younger woman. Which, let's be honest, you're the royal family. That's not too out of character, is it? Number three. Kate made Megan cry over some flowers. Let's be honest. Meg, Meg, whiter than black Megan Sparkles, used to cry on cue. She's an actress, darlings. She probably did it because she thought there was a flipping camera nearby. Now, one of the bigger ones, William and Kate apparently laughed and encouraged Harry to wear a Nazi costume. Give me a break, mate. No one made you put on that Nazi costume. In fact, you were probably actually a Nazi. Your entire family were probably Nazis. They are from German ancestry after all. Saxe Coburg then changed their name to Windsor. Just Harry and William urged Prince Charles, or King Charles now, not to marry Camilla. Anyone would have told him not to marry Camilla. She is no oil painting. That's all I'm saying. Harry, num number six. Harry recreated Princess Diana's final moments. Apparently the fact that she wasn't wearing a seatbelt and was being driven by a drunk driver and got into another car than what she was supposed to aren't reasonable factors for your mum to die in. Apparently there's more, nef more nefarious works at play. Which to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised. But by getting rid of Diana, they've created you, you little ginger bastard. Caused more destruction for the monarchy than she ever did. Harry spoke with a medium to speak to his mother in the afterlife. Now, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna play for you what I think his mother said. Mummy, mummy, are you there? Tell me if you're there, mummy. Do a seatbelt clicking noise if you're there. Harry, you're a prick. 
You're not Charles. He's not really your dad. Look at the ears. And that Megan's a bit of a bitch. Even though I didn't like the royal family, I still did my duty. By the way, you're a cunt. Number eight, which significantly angered everybody, even the Taliban had a leg to stand on. Even the, the Taliban took the moral high ground. So like, yes, 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 I, I kill all these women and I rape every woman I want. Uh, but we do it because look what Harry did to us. Aww. What a prick. Apparently, it's not a very good thing to reveal your kill count when serving in the army. And now, apparently, has made security for himself and his family and the entire royal family to go even further. He's put them more at risk than ever. Hey, babe, why don't you tell them how many people you killed in Baghdad? Uh, honey, it was, uh, it was Afghanistan, but uh, okay, uh, what's, what's 20 plus 5? He's like, yeah, yeah, I, I killed 25 people. Yeah. Harry, number 10. Harry thought Princess Diana was hiding after her death. No, it was it was pretty conclusive she died. I mean, think about it. It would have been more it would have been a lot easier for her just to stay alive for the royal family, wouldn't it? Where was she hiding? She was one of the most recognizable women in the world. So they were my highlights from the book. No one can deny that the press were vulturistic towards Harry and they still are. They were vulturistic towards his mother. They were vulturistic towards every member of the royal family. William had it. Camilla had it. Charles had it. Charles had more scandals than most of the royal families put together. What I find about this book is that it's just, it's crass. Yeah. It's mundane. It's trivial. The stuff he's trying to put out there is, look what I did, are trivial stuff that most families go through in, on a daily basis. It's spoiled ginger boy moans about his upbringing some people would have killed to have an upbringing like him yet he's complaining and making money off his own family now that's probably the most poignant bit he's making money the only way he can using and destroying his own family name to me there is nothing more dishonorable it's like moan and bitch about anyone you want in the world but not your family that's kind of an, a moral unwritten rule for everybody that is what i find the most damaging and i think well for, I, I mentioned it in my last in one of my latest videos he will render himself into irrelevancy he will make himself irrelevant people won't want him on their shows they won't want to make shows about him one because he's got no more information left he didn't have much information in the netflix documentary he didn't reveal anything too outlandish in this book, the one thing that would have made me go, you know what, Harry, you've done a good thing here, is if he said, by the way, the Queen killed Diana. That's what would have got me hooked. Everything else, I'm not too bothered about. I'm not too bothered that you got frostbite on your penis. No one cares. Yeah? No one cares that you spoke to a fraudster who connected you to your mother in the afterlife, because she probably didn't. No one cares about your, your security being taken away. No... In the real world, people don't have security. You are a moaning little ginger winger. And I hope one day we see the last of you because that's what we deserve. You're just a prick. A dishonourable prick. A moaning prick. Your wife, whiter than black Megan Sparkles, will probably divorce you when you run out of stuff you can tell. <laughs>